இடம் Every time I switch it to my computer, I have to watch the entire thing, put it in order because they're they're not labeled based on date. And then um they also have like a name that's like three or four numbers off of each other for some reason. We should get reason. a time card thing. Oh, yeah, that'd be sweet. We could make one. Good idea. Be a really good idea. Take two. But that's yeah. why I did this. We should start investing in the production quality more, you know? Like Oh, uh, this is low quality production. but i'm saying like if we have if we think before we jump into it we can start like lighting when we stuff move in together you know? we're going to have a third room for just video games we're gonna have and stuff moving to like a five bedroom house then cuz i need a room for my archery range that i'm going to have i'm going to get into archery and then i need to have a room for the that's called the backyard lap pool that's also probably the like gym. the gym You're getting crazy. I want to have an observatory. So anyway. <laughs> the green uh, house, the red house, the Arizona room. I hate cleaning Arizona rooms. They have such the big windows or whatever, but it's just like it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, and then all of a sudden like, no, you can see how much the dust just collects in that room because of how much the sun pours into. So like you'll be dusting and you'll just see all the dust go. Like stupid dust. In other rooms, you could like you have to like kind of let it build up enough before you can see the dust, but not the Arizona rooms. So anyway, let's eat Take some more chips. Take that Arizona rooms. Let's see what you have to say in the comments about that. <laughs> yeah. Is this going to taste like chicken? This pole. Pole that. Pole bris. Bris. It's like is this French? Mhm. Yeah, it's like it's French chicken. That's pretty good. It feels like I'm eating chicken skin. Crispy chicken skin. That's exactly what I expect that to taste like. Chicken skin? Ready well, for a taste of luxury? You better be because in France, the holidays. Chicken. I was like, "Oh, it tastes like chicken nuggets <laughs> or like, you know, The holidays are a time to splurge on food. Both Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve is known for their lavish, lengthy dinners called the Vianons. The Vianons. Man, Miss Lama would be so pissed at me right now. She'd be like, "You did too far." Can't even say that one word. I don't know if you're cussing me, but scooch over. No. I want to be on the bed here, away from that bright light. <sighs> Yes, move away from the light. Let's try some pretzels. pretzels. It looks like peanut butter pretzel things. Oh, with like caramel there. and almonds. And peanut butter? I like cookies. They're individually wrapped. Ooh, They have like a sweet little Celtic uh, swirl thing there. Oh, there's two in a package. So let's just open one package. Is there? Oh, they're really thin cookies. Mm. So we'll save them because that's that's if these end up being good, that's definitely a great one for your coworkers. Yeah, I didn't let them have the last cookies. They were really good. I let them have the raspberry cookies because I wasn't gonna go through those too quickly. So I wasn't totally mean. Oh. You want a crotch cookie? Crotch cookie. I did it all for the cookie. But yeah, it has these like swirly pattern to it. Can you see it? And it says something on it, but. Mm, those are good. Marito. Mr. Ito, pretzel sa- pretzel sand almond caramel. It does say sand in here. Um 2020 is about to begin and in Japan that means one thing. It's time to forget 2019 ever happened. These are laced I, with a drug that are make it going to make us forget or I can see myself sitting there and eating a whole box of these. Like very easily. 
Mm. What are you doing, you monster? What are you eating it from? Caramel. I ate it like an Oreo. I ate one no. popcorn. No. That's how you eat Oreos because you've had Oreos your whole life. You're supposed to eat it first like a sandwich. Here, you eat it. This is really it. good. Said the word it. In mid December, friends um, convene at casual bars for a traditional bone. Bonkai, or forget the year gathering, where they eat, drink, and release the year's stress with a little flash word on the screen. The Japanese word for letting your hair down. Shindikai. No, that's not it. This one. Toriko. Where'd you get Shindikai? From that. Oh. <laughs> where should it sh says Shindikai? <laughs> you speak, you watch anime how do you not know how to say japanese words easier because i it doesn't matter don't question me you heard that here first japan doesn't matter no i mean i'm reading the subtitles so like i don't pay attention to what they say besides uh nanny <laughs> don't tickle me i'm trying to eat this cookie like really slow though are you are you it's not my fault. Because that's what America wants to watch, is you slowly eat a cookie. Maybe if I was wearing my choker. Maybe. And all cute. Maybe. Me. Can you hand me a, a napkin? together. So this is, um, Ooh, it smells, really it smells like a fresh cut, like, melon. There's three in here. What kind of, uh, melon is that on the front? Smells like honeydew. There's a drink that used to be at a bar I used to go to. It tastes that, like honeydew. It was called Honeydewy, and it was so good. We should give the third cookie to my mom. Okay. Um, this one is Langorly Hokokero Melon. Looking for a gift to give someone special? We got just the thing. Melon! In Japan, December marks Japan the gift giving really season of Osaibo. When folks express the year's worth of gratitude with presents, and melon is the most exclusive gift. It's a very popular flavor. Now, let's be clear this isn't your ordinary melon, this is a cantaloupe. This is a special wow. cantaloupe grown on the Japanese island of Hokkaido, which meets some of the highest fruit standards in the world. All I can think of is Host Club when, like, um, mm, it's really good. It's when they're shopping yeah. and they're just, like, admiring all the Tasty. melon candies. I haven't eaten it yet. I want to buy a melon now. I want to feel the freshness like this, but with the juice. I, it feels like you're biting into the melon. But there's no juice running down your face. It's the ultimate way to enjoy a melon without the mess. It's really good. Right? Again, I could see myself finishing up a box of those. Yeah, I'm glad that they only have, like, six cookies in total. Um, so far... These Japan cookie boxes Japan, are the like, best. Japan, like, knows how to do cookies. Like, I'm giving them that. Like, if I owned a bakery, I'd straight up try and learn how to do Japanese I love their little they, green can, uh, treat. Good job, yeah. And it has the jelly inside, and, like, it's a big marshmallow on the outside, but it's green. I forget what it's oh, called. Oh, you remember that one. My um, ceramic teacher gave it to me once. <sighs> Why does a ceramic teacher make Because he wanted candy? to, no, he wanted to teach us, like, part of his culture, because he's Japanese. Oh. He's also really cool. He had a motorcycle. It was, uh... Um, oh, motorcycles make you cool. Uh, he raced professionally outside of being a teacher. Oh, being a professional race car, motorcycle race makes you cool. It does! Okay.
okay? Just chill. Wait, did he fight crime and, 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 and perform surgery on baby seals at the same time? Listen, you're being, like, really salty. I'm just kidding <laughs> you. But no, he was really cool. He, he taught us about the tea ceremony while we were making teacups in the, in the class. Cool. So, anyway, that okay. was the cakes, and it was great, and he was a cool teacher, and you're just jealous. I am actually jealous. I, I'm openly jealous of anybody who owns a motorcycle and, and makes more than, you know, $11.50 an hour or whatever the heck I'm making. So, uh, let's take a cookie break. Boop! For a different kind of cookie. This is called Nubella, Nubella, Nubella Latte Cream Americana. Oh Here, open this bad boy while I try to find out who he is. Alfredric. I can't read it. Put it on the screen. Thank you. Uh, in the past five years, traveling around the world, we've never had a chance to visit Uruguay. Uruguay? Until now. Turns out they have a lot of uh, new holiday traditions to learn from. For starters, there's the no such thing as white Christmas. The holiday falls in summer, which can be over 100 degrees. There is also no silent nights, and it's a local tradition to set off ear-popping fireworks on Christmas. And Santa goes by the name Papa Noel. Eggnog is replaced with dry, sweet wines. Ooh. Try that. I love eggnog. Mmm. It tastes like a ding-dong that got a little too hard because it's going bad. I'm gonna go away. Yeah, because it's obviously not scale. This tastes like a ding-dong, though. It tastes a lot like a ding-dong. So is Uruguay a Hispanic country? Because asado is is barbecue. Yeah, that's down. That's South America. Okay, and just put that over there to finish later. It's near uh, like Venezuela. You know, like. In Would you do me the kindness and push that. stop and record? <laughs> move my hand. No, move my hand. Don't tickle me! I'll hands. kill you. Can we move my hands? Can we move my hands? <laughs> I can do it. That's possible. Okay, okay, stop. I will karate chop you to death. <laughs> anyway. Uh, there's just so many cookies in this box. Well, it's Christmas time, babe. This cookies is Bunder Nostrilli Alpine, Alpine Nut Cake. You want some nut cake? Nut cake. Um, open this bad boy up. That's something you should have at like a bachelorette party. We had nut cake. We had some nut cake. Oh my god. Baby, it's cold outside, but not as cold as the Swiss Alps. According to locals, a typical year consists of nine months of winter and three months of cold. Residents of the rustic mountain towns are constantly snow dredging, snuggling, and blah 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 blah. And Why do you read these things? You don't seem like you like reading these Sometimes things. Sometimes they have some interesting sh they're cheesy and lame, and they're steamy. It's like a little donut cookie. You know what we should do? We should, we should start opening... It's really good. ...the box early, and then doing research about the company, so that we can say what we know this about the research. This company beats baby seals. Yeah, right? Like, that'd be hilarious to know that. They're all the way in Switzerland, baby. That's what's so weird about them shipping them all the way back to Switzerland just to beat them to death. <laughs> That's weird, right? <laughs> no, but like then like if we like go on the companies like we could be like so we went on the company website and look at this funny picture you know, like if there's like something funny on the website or if there's something, you know If you like this item, you're gonna find... love secret squirrel cookies. Right, like we we checked this out and check this out about what we checked that you know, like we just do more research about this. At low quality productions, we don't research that. Okay. I'm just saying. So these are already like. Be funnier. It got dusted be around and knocked around, so opening this is going to be a hassle. But it looks oh, like an orange strawberry wafer cookie. 
Which sounds It's not a waffle, it's a waffle. <laughs> or maybe those are lemons. It looks maybe like there's lemons and oranges. Them. Okay. It's just citrus and strawberry. Your standard wafer cookie fare. But mixed together, I haven't had that in a wafer cookie before. So this will be interesting and delicious. So far, yes. Yeah, Universal Yams, you got it. We love all of these things. I like the chicken chips. Yeah. I don't hate any of these. Standard wafer cookie size. No. I like a really good cookie you got. Like oh my god, this is really good. Strawberry and citrus, they know how to do it. <laughs> Boncini waffle dessert. Wafers with lemon, orange, and strawberry cream. Showed on holiday ornaments, use fruit. You see, back when Christmas trees were first introduced in Croatia, in the mid-19th century, colorful fruits were dyed, dried, candied, and used as ornaments. Small pieces of cotton were also added to give the trees a snowy look. So this Perfect is for burning your house down. In Norway? Dry cotton on a on a dry Christmas tree when you don't have, you know, indoor electricity and you're using fire lamps and stuff. A great way to keep your house lit is by burning it from the ground up. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not funny, I'll shut up. It's true. <laughs> These are really I good. I always burn from ground up. All right, let's let's try something salty again. Yar, salty yar. This one's garlic salt dust, salt filled yeah, sticks. Yeah, you're like, let's try something salty. Salt filled sticks, the saltiest thing that could exist. Over 100 years of baking tradition. They literally just roll sticks around in salt. Like we open it up and it's just like sticks <laughs> with salt on it. What in the fuck? Branches. I can't eat this. <laughs> this is branches. You mean tell me that I'm going to eat some sticks? What do you want? Wait. What to know what your future... What? Blah. Why can't I read right now? Want to know what your future holds in 2020? Do as the Croatians do and plant some wheat. Following centuries old tradition, local plant small... <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's like somebody hollowed out a pretzel and then just put fucking granulated garlic in it. They just put garlic powder in it. It's just garlic powder inside of a pretzel. It is. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's just like I could use this to cook with if I wanted. Uh, oh, crap, yeah. we're out of garlic seasoning. Oh, we have some of those garlic salt sticks. Just grind up those, pre those pretzels, yeah. It's just weird. It's just it's like... It's really good. I could see this being like okay. part of the meal. Like, it's not bad. Issue. It's just funny. It just made me think of Lucas. How it's like just chili pepper that, or chili powder. They just sell chili powder to kids. And it's just like, yeah, it's candy. Totally. You know, it's like... I guess that's a snack. That's just weird. It's good. Sorry, Croatia. I don't mean insult. It, he still likes it. I like it, yeah. yeah. I love garlic. I guess that's why it made me laugh, is just because I use garlic seasoning in so many things. But to it was turn like, it into a snacky and I eat And I eat pretzels so much, so it was just like, this is literally if I just like had bought some pretzels across the street. So yeah! Like, I actually might, now that I think about it, like start, start, yeah, putting garlic powder on my pretzels. That's actually pretty good. But it was just funny. It was like... It's like stoner food. That's like some stoner food right there. That would be great in the bars. That would actually be some good bar food. Yeah. Okay, now, how do I... When there's ridges, it's so that you can tear it. I tried. I was trying to tear it. But I opened it and listened. me. Who's there? Did we switch out my clothes yet? Yes. It's in the dryer right now. Oh. Thanks for announcing that we're doing your laundry. Ah, I like this. They look, they look like little garlic knots. Knots. Are they garlic? This has to be Italian. It tastes like sausage. It has fennel in it. Oh, okay. That's good. I don't like fennel. Mm-hmm. 
I think it's like Italian sausage. That's so weird. It's, it's a fennel, you know. It's Tarali con semi di finicio. I just want to get a few of those to Brett specifically. Yeah, yeah take them. Like... By the time Christmas Day rolls around in Italy, locals are very hungry. Why? In the Catholic Church, Christmas Eve is considered a giorno de margaro. Giorno de ganaro. I don't, I don't know. Or lean day, when food consumption is limited to remain pure for the next day. But while Christmas Eve is about restraint, it's... Oh my god, that guy in the movie, who's right? They celebrate Christmas in Italy. She no, he was saying they celebrate Thanksgiving in Italy, which they don't. He was feeding her a line of bullshit. Roasted lamb, pork chops. Although... That was a good movie. What was the one called again? My Blue Heaven. That was pretty funny. Steve Martin and Rick Moranis. Do you want a little Very bit of chocolate? Oh my god, they gave us huge chocolate bars. I uh, thought I was grabbing something like this big. I guess we kind of got to eat it. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. White cinnamon chocolate right cookie. White cinnamon chocolate? Yeah, that's what it said. I'm trying a little bite, but I'm probably... I'm I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm not a huge chocolate fan either. Well, no, I mean, like, I like chocolate. Who like, when like Willy chocolate? Wonka's thing comes around, and if I get a golden ticket, I'll be like, winning a um, lifetime supply of chocolate is uh, not on my priority. I'd rather have a lifetime supply of pizza. No, thank you. I'd be burnt out on pizza. Are you kidding? By I the end of my lifetime, on pizza. everybody does. Especially if you're allowed to get, like, white sauce. Do If it included crazy bread... You're good for life. If it was like a lifetime supply, like at a pizza chain, like sure. even if it's not a very good one, it's like I can get wings instead. Like at Freddy instead. Fazbear's Pizzeria? Let's not go there because I'd have to actually go into that place and see the animatronic monsters that exist. Foxy was always my favorite. I love foxes. And he's a fox pirate pretty much, so. Uh... Two and two. It was good. That is good. I'll go with that. I wish it was in smaller pieces because I'm not going to finish the rest of that. The cinnamon and the white chocolate do complement each other well. I don't really like white chocolate. I actually hate it normally. So that's surprisingly good for me. Like, if you ever decide that you want to get me a box of chocolates, if oh. it says that it's white chocolate, run away. Oh, okay. So you absolutely hate white chocolate. That's good enough. Um, this one's a milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is better, just in my opinion. Do we even try this one? It's like it's just regular milk chocolate. Well, because the chocolate from different countries tastes different. That's true, I guess. Everyone's got their way of Here, you break chocolate. a piece of this one off. Break me off a piece of that. <laughs> Babe, we have a golden ticket in this. White cinnamon chocolate cookie was the last one. And it says, during the holiday season, it's quite common to see wreaths, garlands, and colorful lights decorating people's doors. Um, where is this one from? Okay, Belgian. That's all I wanted to get to. I It doesn't look like it's going to tell me anything different about the holiday. Some new fact about chocolate. You don't and know. then the milk chocolate, Belgian chocolate. The first thing the Belgians do on Christmas Day, drink a cup of coffee. The second day... Uh, the second the day begins on Christmas Day, they gather with extended family for a late breakfast of co coffee cakes. Put the put the, the the other word up. You get what I'm saying? It's still a giant piece of chunky. Mm. That's really good. It tastes like coffee and chocolate. That it just tastes like a cup good. of chocolate and coffee. I thought it said it milk chocolate. I read it wrong. It says milk coffee. Oh my gosh, that is. This great. is so good. I'm saving this. Um, coworkers, I'm sorry. It's got a bit of like a crunch, like a my roommate snappy needs crunchy to it. You know what I mean? Like it's not just a bar of chocolate. Like it's so smooth. There's some crunch in there too. It's smooth and then a little bit of like it feels. Like if it's what. It was good. But you said it like if it was blah blah blah. You like like that like you remember you know. God, French it just, bars? it's like the perfect combination. You know how French bars are. 
it was like like a really really slight that like not the major kernels but where there's like the air puffed into it a little bit it tasted like that as much as I'm sad that I don't have anything on my wall anymore, because I used to have all kinds of paintings that my uh, dad's friend did um, on the wall, because I think just now that the bed's higher up, I didn't want to be that close to them, so I have to Why are you explaining this? But, like, I want something back there. But at the same time, the little happy faces and sad faces that I put in the corners fit up into this blank space well without being overshadowed by anything, so... I don't know. If we keep doing the box, should we just keep the blank wall, or should we go to... Or get a green screen. Something back there to go around. You should get a green screen, too. I think I want to just paint outer space in the background. But anyway, we'll be right back. Push the stop button, please. Stop! <laughs> well, don't go. Hang out with me instead. <laughs> 